Hello and welcome to another video. Today we are going to talk about My Heroes Unit 9 in Global English 1. Let's begin today with My Heroes! The plan for today, talk about vocabulary, grammar, useful expressions, reading, and lastly, a quiz reminder. Don't forget about your quiz. Quiz do, Here we go with vocabulary. Number one, hero, hero. A person admired for their character and achievements. Though a single hero cannot save the world, a heroic individual can inspire others to make it better. Hero! Courage. Courage. The ability to confront fear, pain, danger, and uncertainty. Facing the big exam with courage, Sarah studied hard and did her best. Courage. Inspiration. Inspiration, something or someone that stimulates the mind or emotions. The general's powerful speech became an inspiration for many soldiers. Inspiration. Role model, role model, a person looked up to by others as an example. He is a great role model for young boys because of his intelligence and kindness. Role model. Sacrifice. Sacrifice. To give up something to help others. During wartime, soldiers often make sacrifices for their country. Sacrifice. Patient. Patient. Able to remain calm when waiting for a long time. His patient approach made him a role model for those inspiring to success. Okay, now it is not Hwanja. It says Hwanja. Hehehe. <laughs> yogi nen innesim. Uh, innesim is correct. Chamel song. It's not Hwanja. All right. Moving on. Resilience. Resilience, the capacity to recover quickly from difficulties. Despite the challenges, her resilience helped her overcome adversity. Resilience. Admire, admire, to feel respect and approval. We all admire the artist for her absolute talent and creativity. Admire. Also, admire, 존경하다 is more like respect. 존경하다 is like respect somebody, but maybe similar meaning. Empathy. Empathy. The ability to understand and share the feelings of others. Showing empathy, he confronted his friend who was feeling sad and lonely. Empathy. Compassion, compassion, a feeling of deep sympathy for suffering beings. With great compassion, the doctor took patience of, sorry, let's read that again. With great compassion, the doctor took care of his patients. Compassion. That is the last one. Let's move into the grammar. Uh -huh. Grammar section. Today we are going to talk about reported speech. Reported speech. Reported speech. What's reported speech? Well, let me tell you what reported speech is. Reported speech is uh, something. What somebody said. 그래서 그 말을 듣고 다른 사람이 그 말을 듣고 그는 다른 내가 그 말을 듣고. 다른 사람한테 그 사람 아까 얘기했던 사람이 무슨 말을 했는지 설명하는 거예요. Reported speech. 이거는 direct speech. Direct speech. Uh, what's indirect? 간, 간접. 간접. 
화법, 화법. This one is 직접, direct speech. Let's look at direct speech. 이거는 직접, 직접. This is present simple, present simple, 현재형. Wendy said, I play the piano, right? Comma, 이거 comma도 있고, 이거, 이거 뭐지? Quotation marks, 있고, 이렇게. This is direct speech. Present continuous, 현재 진행. They said, we are watching a film, film 영화. How about will, 미래형. Amy said, I will call you later. Can. Tina said, Tina is a girl. She. She can work until 9 o'clock. Okay, go to job. But if you do a job, you can do a little bit of a job. Listen to your job. This is a job. Okay, a job. First, use reported speech to tell someone what another person said. What another person said. 간, 간첩, 화법, 사용하는 거예요. It is common to change the verb. 그래서 동, 특히 동사는 바꿔야 돼요. 원래 과거형으로 바꿔야 돼요. 어느 정도, 어느 정도 과거형으로. 근데 과거형이라고 하면은 더 과거, 과거형, <웃음> 더 깊게, 과거 더 깊게 이야기해야 돼요. 네? 그래서 과거로 해야 되고. 그리고 다른 부분은 뭐 시간도 바꿔야 할 수도 있고 뭐그 대명사 I, you, he, she, him, her, me 이런 그 대명사도 바꿔야 할수 있으니까 조금 어려워요 일단 해보세요 아까 이거는 똑같은 예시 심플 현재형 그래서 Wendy set up 있잖아요 play 과거형 일단 동사 보세요. 동사 play 여기는 played 그리고 여기는 said she said 그리고 that은 그냥 없애도 돼요. She said that she played the piano 아니면 그냥 she said she played the piano 이걸 없애도 돼요. She said she played 그럼 과거형으로 바꾸는 거죠. 이것도 아까 they said we are watching a film 이거 과거형 비동사 비동사 이거 현재 현 현재 진행 are were로 바꾸는 거죠. They told 그리고 said told 또 이걸 자주 쓰는 말이에요. 간접 과법 할때 she said she told me. 이거 told me told 누가 told told me told you told us 그 이거는 있어야 돼요. 그리고 여기는 있으면 안 돼요. She said me. She said you라고 하면 안 돼요. 그냥 she told me 이야기해 줬어요. She told me. 오케이? Okay? 그리고 이렇게 말하면 안 돼요. She told they were watching. 이거 없으면 안 돼요. 이거 같이 있어야 돼요. told이랑 같이 사용하면은 they told me, they told you. 오케이? Okay? 이렇게 외우세요. will 미래형. 이거 will. will 과거형 뭐예요? will은 그냥 과거형 그냥 그 과거형은 그냥 will 말고 그냥 would. would로 바꾸는 거예요. will 이렇게 외우면 돼요. 왜? We W W W W W W W. She said that she would call. Oh, you. Oh, you. Oh, 여기 말 건네. You 말고 she call me. 어, 헷갈리네. 여기 can. Can은 과거형 could. K K K C C. Tina said he could work until nine. Okay. 이해하시겠어요? Alright. Let's look at this one. So, 아까 이야기 했어요. Common say, tell, 자주 사용하는 말이에요. Right? Tell with an object. 목적어, 그 목적어 같이 있어야 돼요. Like, 예를 들자면, told, tell, tell me, tell you, tell her, tell us. 이런 목적어, 대명사 um, 같이 있어야 돼요. And say, like this. Say is not. 아까 설명했어요. 그냥, say는 그냥 그대로. Right? 아까 she, he told me, and she said she. 그럼 그 목적 없어요. 비교해 보세요. 그리고 또그 가끔 you don't need to change the verb tense. 가끔 그동그 동영상 그 동영상 동상 동사 동사. <웃음> 나는 말할 수 있어요. 걱정하지 마세요. 동사는 안 바꿀 때도 있어요. <웃음> yeah, I did it. 나는 할수 있다. I spoke. Uh, you don't always have to change the verb. 동사는 항상 그냥 안 바꿔야 할 때도 있어요. 그냥 냅두는 냅둘 때 있어요. 예를 들자면 
Present simple is used to describe a habit. 일상생활. 맨날 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 하는 얘기. Describe a habit. 일상생활. 보세요. She said, I get up at 6. 으로 해서 She said, she get. 이거는 현재형으로 바꾸는 거예요. 일상생활. Okay? 그리고 또 general truth. 아, 일반, 어, 일반적인 어, 사실. 진실. 일반적인 진실. 보세요. They said the earth revolves around the sun. 이거 과거형으로 안 바꿔도 돼요. 그냥 냅두는 거예요. 그리고 마지막은 마지막으로 과학 법칙도 그냥 냅두는 거예요. Well, that's the same one, I guess. Sign a general truth. Okay? So, you don't need to change the verb. 그리고 시간도 가끔씩 바꿔야 할때 있어요. 좀 헷갈려요. 오케이? 보세요. 2주 전에. 2주 전에. Let's go back. Let's just go back up here first. Let's go back first. Let's go back. So here's the right. This, these, that, those. You need to change. 직접 얘기. 음, 간접 이야기 할 때. Ago, before. 이거로 바꾸는 거예요. Today, that day. Yesterday, 라고, the previous day. Here, there, now, then, tomorrow, the next day, last night, the previous night. 이거 비슷비슷해요. Last night. 근데, let's just look at an example. 이좀 헷갈려요. 그죠? 걱정하지 마세요. 그냥 시험, 그냥 간단하게 나올 거예요. 아주 아주 간단하게. Let's look at this example. 이거 예시 보세요. Two weeks ago. Amy said, I, 이거 2주 전이에요. 2주 전에. Amy said, I finished the report yesterday. 어제 그 리포트 완료했어. 그냥 다 했습니다. 라고 했어요. 이거는 직접 얘기, 간접 얘기. Amy said that she had finished the report the day before. 이거 2주 전에, 옛날이에요. 그쵸? 2주 전에. 그래서 과거, 이거 과거형, 또 과거, 과거. 과거 분사. Had finished. Had finished the report. Yesterday. Yesterday 아니죠. Yesterday는 어제잖아요. 그쵸? 어제는 아니니까 the day before로 바꾸는 거예요. 그래서 이스 같은 경우에는 이거는 시간 바꿔야 돼요. 근데 만약에 Amy 오늘 얘기했어요. 오늘. 그래서 오늘 얘기했어요. Amy. Amy said, I will 할 거예요. I will finish the report tomorrow. 내일 끝낼게요. I will finish the report tomorrow. 근데 이 같은 경우에는 시간 안 바꿔도 돼요. 내일은 또 그냥 똑같은 날 내일이니까 She said that she would 이거 과거형으로 would 직접 그 어, 간접 이야기하니까 Amy said that she would finish the report tomorrow. Tomorrow 이건 이, 이 같은 경우에는 시간 안 바꿔도 돼요. 내일이니까. 근데 이건 2주 전에 내일하고 어, 어제 내일 아니면 그냥 어제니까 the day before 라고 해야 돼요. 오케이? Okay? So 안 바꿔야 할 때도 있어요. You don't have to change it every time. So you have to 머리 쓰고 조금 이런 식으로 Okay. Anyway, there is an example of changing the time. And that is the end. Let's go through the useful expressions. Again, listen and repeat. 말을 듣고 따라해 보세요. Number one. Sarah said that her personal hero was her grandfather. Sarah said that her role model was her grandfather. Sarah said that her inspiration was her grandfather. Sarah said that her personal beacon was her grandfather. 선생님 너무 빨라요. 그러면 이렇게 생각하시면은 어떻게 하는 거죠? 동영상 멈췄다가 말했다가 진행합니다. 오케이? Okay? David said that his mother always inspired him with her courage. David said that his teacher always inspired him wisdom and experience. 
David said that his boss always inspired him with his strategic thinking. All right, moving on to number three. Jesus ordered us to love others as we love ourselves. The captain ordered us to set the sails. The manager ordered us to prepare the report by the end of the day. Number four. Emma shared, Emma shared that her elder brother's determination motivated her to work hard. Emma shared that her elder brother's determination motivated her to develop her communication skills. Emma shared that her brother's determination motivated her to follow her passion. Number five. Michael mentioned that he looked up to his teacher for his honesty and integrity. Michael mentioned that he looked up to his teacher for his patience and compassion. Michael mentioned that he looked up to his teacher for his encouragement and life lessons. Number six, Socrates advised us to know ourselves. Socrates, sorry, the admission officer advised us to submit our applications early. The psychologist advised us to listen to our inner voice attentively. Number seven, Sam said, my uncle is my role model because of his intelligence and kindness. Sam said that his uncle was his role model because of his intelligence and kindness. Sam said, my uncle is my role model because of, because of his artistic talent. Sam said that his uncle was his role model because of his professional achievements. Number eight. July said, my father taught me to value. Sorry, let me try it. I'm not sure if this is July or Julie. Let's call her Julie. I think it's Julie. Julie said, my father taught me the value of hard work and perseverance. Julie said that her father had taught her the value of hard work and perseverance. Julie said, my father taught me the value of respecting diversity. Julie said that her father had taught her the value of balancing work and life. All right, last group. Oh, number nine and 10 were skipped. So we just did number seven and eight. Number nine and ten were skipped. And we're going to go into the reading, the last part for today. Let's have a look at the reading. Remember, read it one or two times because you will have a quiz. Though this age is regarded as an era that often dismisses the concept of heroes, the importance of having role models still remains undiminished. These mentors, though they may not be perfect nor possess superhuman abilities, are essential for our personal growth. The act of admiring, respecting, and following them can give us a shortcut to success. By observing their values, ethics, and characters, we can mold ourselves into better individuals. Our heroes become beacons of inspiration, guiding us towards our dream future, even on the edge of despair. And contemplating giving up, our heroes can provide guidance and unwavering support during the most difficult times. All right, we are done. Make sure you watch the video two or three times. 이제는 다 끝났습니다. 똥 영상. 한, 두, 세번 보고 동, 어, 일기도 몇 번이나 읽어보고 그 퀴즈를 어, 잘 보기 위해서 어, 준비하세요. Please get ready for your quiz. And we will see you in the next one. Goodbye!